Hello everyone, this is Corey Ruder from the Chaos Group. In this video, I want to show you the, the uh, three top most important uh, additions that we've made in, to V-Ray RT uh, in this V-Ray 2.0 for Rhino release. First thing I want to show you is that we've added support for GPU rendering with V-Ray RT. So if I open up the uh, RT engine options, you're going to see the uh, section here, RT mode. And if I go ahead and expand this down, you're going to see that there's uh, two new options in here. And we have V-Ray RT-GPU OpenCL and RT-GPU CUDA. I'm going to go ahead and start the RT process here. Uh, you'll see the uh, frame buffer begins to update pretty quickly. If I go ahead and uh, rotate this around, you're going to see this uh, RT viewport is um, updating very quickly, very fast, very dynamic. So that's the first thing that I wanted to show. The next thing that I want to show you is a new feature that we've added to RT, which allows you to uh, terminate the rendering after a certain period of time or when you reach a certain sampling level. Let's go ahead and look at the options here. And so now you'll see a new option called Stop Render When Done. And if I go ahead and click on this, I'm enabling uh, this functionality that will stop V-Ray RT from processing after a max render time. And so if I go ahead and set this to a tenth, we'll go ahead, start RT, and RT will fire up. And you'll notice V-Ray will process, and if you look in the progress window, it set up the thread, and then the rendering thread completed uh, after 6.3 seconds. Um, so this is pretty powerful, right? Um, you can actually do test renders this way with using RT. You can also use this uh, to do animations. To set up an animation, you can do quick preview animations using uh, a fixed uh, render time amount, which is very cool, and will help you visualize your animations a lot faster. Um, very cool new feature that we've added here. The next feature that I want to show you all is uh, we've added a new viewport mode to Rhino. And so if I go ahead and click on the viewport menu, you'll notice there's a new option in this list called V-Ray RT. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, click on that. You're going to notice that the Rhino viewport goes black for just a second while V-Ray processes for the first time in the viewport. As you can see, V-Ray RT is processing directly in the Rhino viewport which is very cool. What's even cooler is, is that you can actually rotate your Rhino viewport. You can see, we zoom in into uh, the details here and let this converge for just a minute using uh, C uh, GPU processing. So you can also uh, move objects in the viewport. You can uh, obviously change uh, materials and lighting information, all that stuff, it gets displayed directly in the Rhino viewport integrating the Rhino viewport with V-Ray RT is a very, very powerful tool. Okay, thank you for watching, and please be sure to check out our other V-Ray 2.0 for Rhino videos.